Okay, we're going to have a quick look at our new um, Hobby King 328 uh, flight control board. This is the one that we flew this morning in the videos. Um, you can see here it's got barometer and magnometer. So it has got um, altitude hold and it has got uh, heads free. And that's about it. So we'll have a bit of a look. One thing you need to know when you're flashing this, you've got to uh, disconnect auxiliary 2. So if you're wondering what that is, this is the page you get from Hobby King. A uh, couple of things here. Um, I've connected to here to D12, my auxiliary 2, for my, um, for my radio. So I've got the throttle, roll, pitch and your auxiliary 1 and then I've put auxiliary 2 here. Now if you're connecting via USB you've got to disconnect that. You can also you can also connect into this one here. Same. Okay, they're exactly the same. So um, when you're going to flash with the um, USB, disconnect that. I've got mine connected to the Bluetooth at the moment so mine doesn't need to stay, um, it doesn't need to be disconnected. So my Bluetooth unit sits in here so the RX uh, goes into here uh, the TX goes into here now there's a little three little jumpers in here as you can see uh, cross those two for the USB pull those little jumpers off and put it into the center one for the uh, Bluetooth so RX goes to here positive and negative and the TX goes into the center of this uh, three pins here pretty straightforward Okay, all you need to do is um, in your sketch uh, define RC auxiliary pin uh, 12 and that'll make that available and that one available. Okay, if you want your second auxiliary, which I've got. So we'll have a look now at our uh, GAUI. We are connected. Okay, now I have changed a couple of things. We're going to go out and have another fly um, this afternoon, weather permitting or wind permitting. So here's what I've got set up. This was um, four. I've lowered this a little bit to, to three. Now these are your um, pitch, yaw, and roll rates. Okay, that's what I talk about. So I don't touch these in here. Don't touch the PIDs. These are the two you change here. So if you want something super, super quick, super, super responsive, these are the ones you change. And this guy here, this rate. Okay, so what I've done is I have straightened out the expo on mine and what I've done is this morning I was flying at 1 now I've upped that to um, uh, 0.3 1.03 so gone up 0.03 Okay, so to do that just hold your mouse over it left click down and you can move that wherever you want move it sideways Okay, so if we go back to read it'll take us back to where we were before so that's about where we are. Um, my radio is connected, so you can see here my three-way switch. Um, up is horizon, which is what we'll find in this morning. Middle position is angle, and bottom position is the mag and heads free. So we all know what heads free does. And then of course over here, good old trusty um, altitude hold in whatever mode I've got it in. So okay so horizon is my normal angle is um, what I wasn't flying in this morning in the video what I was flying in this morning my settings were uh, that was point oh, point four it was point four and that guy there was was all oh, one oh, so finicky this there you get the idea one so that was what I was flying in this morning. So as I said, gone up 0.03, taken them down a little bit. That's about it. I've done a recal of the accelerometer, so it's sitting flat now. If I do that, um, it'll make all that nice and nice and new again. And I have just recalibrated the mag, so we're all good to go flying. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully, no crashes.